What's up you guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious, cozy fall lentil soup. So to begin, you're going to need lentils, pork, broth of your choice, and I'm using miso, kale, and of course salt, pepper, and oil. So first you're going to pour your lentils into a vat of boiling water. You're gonna need to stir it up a little bit to make sure the lentils don't stick to the bottom of the pot. You're gonna make it simmer for 20 minutes. So now I'm going to chop up the raw pork into one to two inch pieces and I'm cutting around the bone. Then I'm going to pour some olive oil into a cast iron pan and turn the heat up to low to medium. Now I'm gonna saute the raw pork until it's completely brown. You can't have any red with pork, otherwise you might get sick. So I'm gonna put salt, pepper, and just keep cooking it. Now you're going to need seasoning, and I'm using this Goya seasoning, and I'm going to pour it into the lentils and just stir it up. At this point, I'm just checking to see if the lentils are soft enough and they're mostly there. So now I'm going to transfer them into a bigger pot, which will be the soup pot. And um, they're gonna get softer as the broth cooks too. So don't worry about them being completely soft. You can take the miso broth, pour it in. I have two of these ca uh, containers of miso broth. Just stir it up again, making sure the lentils don't stick to the bottom. Now we're gonna add some bay leaves. This is optional, but it adds a lot of flavor. Now I'm just gonna stir it up and add the pork to the pot. Now we're going to wash the kale. Just make sure it's really clean and you might have bagged kale, which is also completely fine. I'm going to just cut it into small pieces or rip it up and put it straight into the pot. I'm gonna make sure this is the last step because you don't wanna overcook the kale. It needs a nice crunch. So now you can let the soup simmer for another 20 minutes or so to add some flavor, or you can just eat it right away, which is what I did because I was super hungry and it already had tons of flavorings and everything, so it still tasted really good. But that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the soup.